You'll have more mellow sounds on KMAR, the musical voice of Marlowe, California. Now for the 11 p.m. traffic report. Next time, ride a bike. Okay, <laughs> this next group will really clear your sinuses. Here's I Love Ugly by the Bucket Breaths. Who is it? Sybil Shepherd. Come in, Sybil. I thought you'd be asleep by now. I couldn't sleep. Well, I can't say I blame you. Oh, Evie, in another hour, you'll be 13. Are you excited? I guess so. If you hold it down, you'll wake the neighbors. <laughs> Honey, do you feel anything different about yourself? Uh-uh. No changes of any kind? It's still flat. <laughs> You've been watering them every day? <laughs> no, I'm talking about other changes. Powerful changes. Oh, Mom, we already had the when you become a woman talk. <laughs> No, this isn't about, you know, SCX. Besides, you probably know more than I did when I was your age anyway. I probably know more than you know now. <laughs> if that's true, you're grounded for five years. Now, honey, I'm talking about very special changes. What kind? Well, like, you haven't noticed whether or not you can, oh, see through walls, can you? What? That's a simple question, see through walls. Can you? Mom, what's your problem? Well, why don't you just try and see into the next room for me? I can't. Well, how do you know unless you try? Mom, that's something you'd notice. You'd notice. <laughs> well, have you noticed whether you can float in the air? What? Eve, can you deep fry plastic? <laughs> Why can't you ask me regular questions, like, did you do your homework? <laughs> well, I wish your father could see how great you're turning out. I just wish I could see him, period. Evie, don't think badly of him. You know he'd be with us if he could. How can you still love somebody you haven't seen in 13 years? Because he's a very special man. What are you sketching? Not finished yet. Just curious. Go to bed. I love you. I love you, too. Don't stay up too late. Mom, wouldn't it be great if I really could see through things? Why? Then I could find out if Rachel Kingsley's wearing a padded bra. <laughs> For the dance birthday girl. Come here. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Ah! Well, what do you think? I lost a whole pound. You're practically wasting away to nothing. <laughs> it's my new diet. Dr. Neutrell's B diet. You can only eat foods that begin with the letter B. Right? Oh, like you did last night. Oh, well, you had the broccoli and Brussels sprouts and a side of beef. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, what kind of birthday cake did you get, Don? I... Well, I want to make sure it's on my B diet. Chocolate. Chocolate. C. Close enough. Hey, Evie, where'd you get all these dumb albums? What albums?
albums. The Shirelles, the Vandellas, the Cadillacs, the Coasters. Who are these people? They're musical <laughs> groups. Like from a hundred years ago, they're my dad's. Oh, your dad's a spy? Where is he now? Uh, we don't know, but Mom gets these mysterious code messages telling us that he's all right, but he never reveals his whereabouts. Oh. Mm. Oh, boy, I wish I didn't have to make up those stories about Troy. When are you going to tell her about her father? When I have to. So far, I don't have to. Well, get on the stick, Mama. She's 13 today. What if she turns into a lizard, like on that TV show? Troy wasn't a lizard. Well, he said he could transform himself. What if the same thing happens to her? My niece, the reptile. <laughs> And the mayor, Marlowe, come in. You made it. You actually came to my party. Ah, uh, nothing to keep me away. I heard all that music. Then I realized you're violating a city noise ordinance. <laughs> Here's your summons. Hi, Elvis. Is real. Well, there's nothing personal, Donna. I mean, the mayor was elected to uphold all the laws. Hi, Abino. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, but uh, Clint Eastwood had me on the phone for hours. He's always calling me, asking for advice. How do you do this? How do you do that? <laughs> boy, oh boy, I know the guy's popular, but I'm afraid he left his sunroof open too long. <laughs> you actually talked to Clint? I had to, sweetheart. Professional courtesy. One celebrity mayor to another. <laughs> Here's the hand that held the phone. Want to touch it? Don't be a diz. <laughs> but I am a diz, so are you. <laughs> Brought you a present. Now, can I give it to her? Go ahead. Make her day. <laughs> I'm a big tease. I'll wait until after you open your presents. Everybody, this is Mayor Applegate. Hiya, kids. How am I doing? Uh... Hey, watch it. You're not too young to have an audit. Well, oh, boy. nothing's happened so far. She hasn't changed one bit. Uh, well, the day isn't over yet. Zucchini. Z. <laughs> borrow it sometime, okay? Well, birthday girl, <clears throat> I'm next. <clears throat> Attention, everybody, as your mayor... I've heard this speech before. I'll be in the kitchen. Kid must be a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, here's your birthday present, Evie. An official suspension from all city ordinances. <laughs> I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> For the next two weeks, you'll be able to commit any misdemeanor on the books, and that includes jaywalking, defacing public property, littering, loitering, panhandling, and spitting. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Just what I've always wanted. No, you don't like it. Well, you probably won't want these four tickets to the Phil Collins concert. Oh, all right, thanks. <laughs> Evie, are you all right? Evie, what's the matter? Great trick, you guys. How are you staying so still? I can do it, too. Hey, Mom. Look. Wait. OK, you can come out of it now. Idea, idea, idea. That's all, folks. This is real weird. This is weird, everybody. I just think having a fundraiser right after the inauguration is in bad taste. <laughs> Evie? Honey, why is everybody sort of... Stiff? <laughs> That's a good word for it. What's a good explanation for it? I don't know what just happened. Is this some kind of party trick? Eve, you can stop time. This is the change your father said might happen to you. 
My father, what's he got to do with anything? Evie? Honey, I have something whimsical to tell you about your father. <laughs> Sit down. I am sitting. Right. I meant me. Evie, about your father. He's sort of... Yeah? Well, he's, uh, he's sort of... on another planet. You mean he's a nutcase? <laughs> no, he's actually up there on another planet. He's an astronaut? Uh-huh, yes. Only he's not one of ours. <laughs> what I mean is... Eve, your father is an alien. Like Mr. Lopez from Guatemala? <laughs> no, more like E.T. from outer space. My father's an alien from outer space? Oh, Mom, that's so yucky. Now, hold on, Missy. Now, now I, I will admit that it's unusual, but it's not yucky. Evie, he was here on a mission. We met, we fell in love, we got married, we blended life forms. Life forms? He's not even human. And to think, you didn't even want me to date Jason Blumenfeld. <laughs> Eve, an alien from outer space is completely different than a bald teenager who sewed his fingers together. You actually kissed him? Well, of course I kissed him. I love him. Then I'm half creature! Ah! No, no, sweetheart. You're not half creature. You're half Antarian. Mom, how could you do this to me? I'm a freak. I'm a beast. All sorts of disgusting things are probably crawling around inside of me. This is so uncool. <laughs> Eve. Listen to me. We went to restaurants together. We went to the movies together. We went to the beach together. Now, do you think we could have done all of that if he looked like Alf? <laughs> Believe me, this alien is a hunk. Mom's so scary. I know. I know, sweetheart. Oh, but Evie, think about it. You have a great power now. You can stop time. Of course, there's not much call for that. <laughs> I'd rather see through walls. Besides, how am I going to unfreeze them? Well, what were you doing before everything just stopped? I remember I had this urge to put my fingers together. Oh, OK. Well, well show me what you did, you know, because that may be the Mom? key to it all. <laughs> so show me. I just did. You did what? This. Mom? I'm getting whiplash. Show me what you did. OK, I went like this. Little trick I learned from the Three Stooges. <laughs> Mom, I unfroze you just by touching you. Oh, well, well OK, then. Just, just, just touch everybody else. Yeah. No, 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 don't touch anybody else, no. No, if you touch them one at a time, that they'll all know, and we have to figure out a way of you unfreezing them all at once. Here, here, touch your Uncle Bino. Maybe he can think of something. All he thinks of is food. Evie, <laughs> just do it. The important thing here is not to panic. Evie, there has got to be some way you can unfreeze everybody all at once. Uh, oh, did you try Spox? Live long and prosper? With both hands. I wish your father were here. A gift. I forgot about the birthday gift he left for you. He said to give it to you on your 13th birthday. You know, this may just have the answer. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I... It doesn't hurt to be polite. Eve, from your father. Is this really from another planet? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, open it. It's the cube I drew last year. Yeah. You've drawn lots of things you've never seen before. Well, what is it? Damned if I know. 
I've been trying to figure it out for 13 years. Oh, he's never done that before. Or that. Happy birthday, Eve. That's him. That's your father's voice. Dad, is that you? Is it really you? <laughs> it's me, birthday girl. Oh, I miss you, sweetheart. Mom and Uncle Bino are here, too. I can only hear you, Evie. That's because the cube is a genetic link. Will you do me a favor and tell your mother how much I love her, how much I miss her? Why don't you get your butt back here and tell her yourself? <laughs> Bino, eat your ice cream. <laughs> so, today you're 13. The big one, three. You know, here on Antares, 13 is an age when our children reach their maturity. We're celebrating a kind of intergalactic bar mitzvah. You realize you are half alien. I'm the alien. Well, to him you are. And therefore, can only receive portions of your rightful powers. <laughs> Sorry about that, honey, but I don't make the rules. But you have my cube, Eve, and you are its source of energy. This is fantastic. I hope he's not calling collect. <laughs> oh, I wish I could be there as your father and as a husband to your mother. And so I'm sending you this message across the vast emptiness of space. And though I'm many, many light years away, you'll always be in my heart. In his hearts. Oh, Antarians have two hearts. <laughs> you now possess a power, the power to hold time in your hand. Use it wisely, and other powers will appear. It's all part of the plan. What kind of music is that? Doo-wop. It was your father's favorite when he was here. You, he is an alien. <laughs> He's probably trying to relate to us better. Well, that's about it for now, Evie. I miss you both with all my hearts and Enoch. What's an Enoch? <laughs> Use the gift to speak to me anytime. Anytime. Goodbye for now from the Big Bopper. Goodbye, sweetheart. Dad. Hey, guys. A seven trillion mile call, but. He didn't tell us how to unfreeze everybody at once. Oh, well, I guess you'll have to unfreeze them one at a time. Gee, I was hoping we'd be the only ones to know about this. Doesn't Grandma know? Tell my mother I married a man from outer space. Oh. <laughs> she goes nuts if we say hello to a Mexican. <laughs> Mom, it's happening again. Some urge is making me Oh, yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Don, I want to talk to you about the re-election. I'll be right back. Oh, man, I'm going to borrow your sweater, Evie, okay? Thanks. Hey, Evie, where'd you go? Well, good. Everything is back to normal. Yeah. You know, I wonder if I can do it again. <laughs> You're doing your hamburger. <laughs> All the sketches you've done, the strange objects, they're all things from Antarius. They just popped into my head. You know, your father could project his thoughts outside of himself into holograms. I bet that's where you get your ability to draw. Mom, what if I had turned into something awful? You mean like a teenager? <laughs> I knew you'd be OK. Is this the same sketch? Uh-huh. It's finished. <gasps> Evie, this is your father. It just came to my head. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. No, it's OK. It's just that I haven't seen him in all these years, and today I heard his voice, and now this. You were right. He is a hunk. <laughs> Keep it. Reverse birthday present. Thank you. Dad? Hi, darling. Have a nice birthday. Did the 
best. Will I ever see you? Ever? I'm working on it, Eve. Believe me, I'm trying very, very hard. Hey, a little past your bedtime, isn't it? I know. Just one more question. Anything, darling. What's an Enoch? Oh, well, it's, um... It... You better ask your mom. Now, you get to sleep, okay? We'll talk tomorrow. I love you, Eve. Shoo-bee-doo. Oh.